Israel and the U.S. are teaming up for a first-of-its-kind military cooperation on Israel's largest military drill ever. And it's all about striking Iran's nuclear facilities. CBN Middle East correspondent Julie Stahl has more. Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz stressed the importance of dealing with Iran prior to leaving for Washington to meet with American military leaders. Iran continues to accumulate irreversible knowledge and experience in the development, research, production and operation of advanced centrifuges. It stands just a few weeks away from accumulating fissile material that will be sufficient for a first bomb. In Washington, Gantz met his U.S. counterpart, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin, and urged the U.S. to take the lead when it comes to Iran. According to a statement from his office, Gantz told Austin, we must act decisively against Iran's mounting regional aggression in a variety of ways. This includes strengthening a practical coalition under U.S. leadership together with regional partners. This is all happening as Israel plans a large-scale military drill practicing a potential attack on Iranian nuclear facilities, Israeli media reports say. The incoming U.S. military commander in this region was also in Israel for the first time discussing the Iranian nuclear threat with Israeli military chiefs. Exercises are set to take place over the Mediterranean Sea as part of the ongoing Chariots of Fire military drill. The U.S. Air Force is also expected to take part in a move that many say sends a message to Iran. I think what's historic is that the Biden administration is having America's military participate, specifically refueling Israeli jets, which is something very important. Middle East expert Eli Kohanim says after more than a year of negotiating an updated Iran nuclear deal, it's time to consider military action against what she calls an axis of evil that includes China and Russia. It's really time for the Biden administration to put this option back on the table and show this access that the United States will go to the military option if necessary. And we're going to continue to defend our own national security interests as well as our allies in the region. Meanwhile, as sanctions continue to squeeze Iran, Kohanim says recent protests there go beyond economic woes. They very quickly turned political with people in the streets of Iran at the threat of their own lives chanting death to Khamenei. Kohanim says Iranians want their government to be concerned with the welfare of its citizens instead of trying to rule over others. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem. Alpha.